G'day and uh, welcome to another fountain pen review. Uh, today I'm reviewing a vintage pen. Um, it's one of my two favourite vintage pens that I've got. I've got this one in a Parker 51. Um, this is the Conklin uh, from around late 1910s. Um, the pattern date on it is 1918. It's a gold rolled um, Conklin pen from Ohio, USA. It's a uh, lever filler. It's quite a small pen, um, but it's quite a nice pen. Um, so, I'll give a bit of a view of it. So on the end there's nothing, it's just shiny caps on either end, obviously gold rolled. You've got a small hole in either side of your cap, which is for breathing. The uh, clip is actually really good quality, even though it's fairly old. That works really well and feels really stiff. It's quite nice. Um, there's a section here on the back for to get a name or something inscribed, but luckily enough, this one's still clean. Um, you've got a in this gold roll. You've got a lovely sort of chased diamond and line pattern. It's uh, quite nice. I love that look. Um, then you've got a very small lever here for filling it up, which says Conklin on it. It's quite a nice little lever. You put your nail under, pull pull it out, dip it in your ink, and squeeze it back in, wait a few seconds and it sucks all the ink back up. This has been refurbished by um, uh, one of the vintage pen sellers online and um, it's a really nice pen. The thing that really sets this nib apart is the um, Conklin number 3 nib, if you can see that, and the feed that it's got. This nib is almost a wet noodle. Um, it goes from a very thin line up to a very thick line quite easily. Um, it's got a bit of a step up here so your fingers don't move forward if you're using it really close. But personally I can't use it that close, I hold it back more on the threads, which is no problem, they're not sharp or anything. And I normally use it posted as well, just so I've got a bit more room. I like to lay my flex pens more on an angle, that way when I do a line for line variation, it goes quite a lot thicker. So you start off writing like that, you go to do your thick line and I lean it down does a wider line and stops the uh, railroading issues as much. Um, it's quite a long pen when it's posted, um, but it is still a relatively light pen. Um, I did probably overpay for this pen, but I saw it and thought I've got to have it. It's a beautiful pen with great line variation. Um, these are no longer obviously available as new, so you'd have to pick one up either broken or damaged or as one that's been fully refurbished. Um, the dimensions are capped, it's 123 mil. Uncapped, it's about 114 mil. Posted, it becomes a fairly decent size, 165. Um, the grip section at the narrow section is only 7 millimeters. That's showing how small this is. You compare that to, uh, say, the oversized Homo sapiens, and there's a very large difference between the two. Very large difference. Um, the barrel only goes up to 9.8 millimetres, whereas on the Hobo Sapiens grip, the grip is 10 millimetres. So it's quite a very big difference. Uh, the weight with no cap is uh, tw only 12.5 grams, and with the cap, it's 19 grams. So it's a very small pen, but um, it's a very attractive pen, and it's a very good pen for um, flexible writing, which uh, I'll show in the writing review. Uh, I love these Conklin nibs. The nibs number two and number three, I know for a fact, uh, gen generally are amazing at flexing. Great nibs for it, and um, yeah, they're just beautiful. So um, I'll get to a writing sample. Okay, so here we'll be doing a writing sample for this Conklin. See if I can get this in a. This is the pattern date and the Conklin. This is uh, 52818. There we go. So that was a pattern date for the pen. Um, your little lever filler here. If I can get that in focus. This is Conklin as well. And uh, it's quite a nice little pen. Uh, the nib. Let's wipe a bit of that off. This is Conklin. Number three. And then down here on the barrel, as well. Uh, so this is a uh, 
nearly 100 year old pen and uh, we'll do a bit of a writing sample. Poor writing there. I've been doing a lot of writing lately, so my hand's just not working properly anymore. Um, so that's with no pressure, uh, a bit of faster writing. Um, obviously, no pressure again. It's a really wet feed. I think the ink in this, yes, the ink in this is um, uh, Pilot Hiroshi Zoo Cool oh, Asa Gao, which is one of my favourites for my older pens. I also like putting this in my Parker 51 because it's a really well behaved ink. Um, so I'll do a bit of a flexing and see what happens. So I'm not sure whether this would be called wet noodle or not, but you go from quite a very thin line, quite a thick line. The big difference between this and the pen that I just reviewed, the Ahab, is that the Ahab takes a fair bit of pressure to actually write. So to make it flex like that, I would have pushed pretty hard on it. My vintage Conklin nib on the other hand though, takes nearly no pressure to flex it. And uh, so we'll do a flex out here. So the maximum flex, or well, without flexing, you've got probably the Conklin would be a little bit narrower, only marginally. And we do a flex. When I write and I'm doing flexing, I normally put the nib further down so you can get a, a much wider feel on it. So that's about the best I'll get out of the Ahab. There you go, and that's about the best I get out of this one. So it's a much thicker line. There we go. And it tends to be more reliable, but in saying that, the price comparison, this um, Gold Conklin is probably about uh, be 15, 20 times more than the um, Ahab. So there is a very big price difference. But I love this Conklin. You know, the Conklin number three nibs, the number two nibs, um, they're great, great little flexes, and uh, they flex quite easily. They write nicely. Uh, let's try something here. And see how quite nicely these write can be used for Spencerian. Not quite, you'd have to use a very light hand to get the very light line, but you could do it. Um, great pen, I love this one. It's quickly becoming one of my favourites. Um, so that's the Conklin Vintage. Alright, thanks for watching.